All right, so now we're going to be talking about direct current circuits. Um, so we'll start with an introduction. So this is what's called a circuit diagram. And actually, by the end of the class, you should be able to make sense of this, even though it looks like a big, confusing thing. Um, so this tells you how to arrange different circuit elements in a circuit to make it behave how you want it to. Um, and I know you, know you guys are physicists, you're going, well, why am I ever going to use this? Trust me, it's useful if you're ever going to work in a lab, but even if you aren't, it's a useful life skill. Um, so this gives you basically a schematic or a blueprint for how you're going to build what you want to build. Um, and there's different sources of, um, of voltage that you can have. Um, so the examples here are a wind far farm and a hydroelectric dam, a solar farm, um, and then nickel metal hybrid batteries. We, of course, don't have one of my favorites, which is nuclear power. Um, best for the environment, guys. Um, so a variety of different, um, of different power sources. 